Hello everyone and welcome back to Ruzu. In today's episode, it's Friday, it's right ahead of the weekend and before we actually go into the zoo, I need to talk about a few things that happened in the past couple of days because otherwise this episode is a bit um, hard to understand for those of you who uh, haven't caught up on the latest update. So, there was a new update on Planet Zoo just a couple of days ago. I have to admit I didn't play that much uh, simply because I needed to get some rest. I did record, binge record actually a lot in the past couple of days. I did some streaming, um, but it was all in, in sandbox mode. So I didn't touch the franchise. Then I kind of caught up on the forums that many people were completely complaining about uh, some new issues that came in with the latest update and all of a sudden it was claimed that this was just a display issue on um, the display in the final report. However, it turns out to be not only a display issue. So also me, I do know that not everyone has these issues, which is super weird indeed because it seems actually to always hit some people. I, I know for uh, example that the lady designer had some serious issues in the last update whilst I had no issues at all. This time it seems she doesn't have any issue, but I have plenty of those. So first of all, I have heavy starvation going on again in the zoo. As you know, for those of you watching these episodes, I basically never have any issues with starvation except I kind of, you know, I do some bad stuff, which happens, but uh, not as much. So I lost a lot of animals. If we have a look, for example, in the macaque exhibit, you can see there's barely any animal left and you know that we had plenty of them um, because all of them just died within a few minutes. I had no chance to fix that. Like, they, they all of them died, um, which is a bit of a pity. Um, honestly, it's maybe not too bad because we needed to get rid of some anyways, but it's just I had no control over that. It's it's just happening and I, and you're sitting here like, oh my god. And then I was playing for like at max 20 minutes and you know that I had like half, half a million or whatever. Um, and so I, I lost nearly 50k. Now it went up a little bit because I sold a whole bunch of stuff. Now what we will try now in today's episode, we will try to kind of deal with that. My, you know, the thing is my losing... Of, uh, kind of the, the, the amount of money I do lose is fortunately not as heavy as it uh, has been for some other people it seems. Um, so we're going to try to fix that a little bit and we also try to fix a few guest issues that seem to be appear appearing. If you have watched the last episode you know that there was a lot better stuff going on but now the happiness actually did go down quite a lot and they actually are complaining a lot about staff, fa slop, staff, staff facilities which I'm still very like much wondering about because maybe it's because of that food court over here anyways because oh well maybe this way but um, yeah I mean I cannot do too much about it like it is this kind of circle issue that you do have since the buildings themselves do have a bad effect on um, on like the facility rating let me just go to guests and then we go to well, where is that? Uh, buildings, facilities, staff facilities, here you go. That's where uh, you have the area and it does have a, wor a way worse effect on that area than you would have guessed. Now, my issue with that is, guys, and that's my biggest issue, I, I, I don't even know how to put that. It is somewhat unrealistic, like... Like, yes, this this one, okay, I, I can I can deal with that, okay? Let's just move this thing over, um, just so that the guests won't notice. Or maybe maybe we're even putting that anywhere else. I Let's see, I don't even know where I do have the energy or whatever, but... Um, yeah, well, whatever. It doesn't really, you know, matter that much. Let's just rotate it a bit, so... I don't know, at least we put it out of this area. Now, again, I have hidden it away in there, and it's kind of a pity that we still have the circle instead of just hiding them stuff away. That would be awesome, but yeah. So the next thing we are doing to do, we are slightly raising the prices at um, our, like, hot dogs and stuff. I'm I'm not really, like, I don't know how much this will change, um, but the thing is, uh, I, I feel like it could be a good idea to do it because... Um, yeah, we are making money then more than we did before. So, oh my God, no, I just didn't. <laughs> okay, um, I'm sorry that we, you know, we are not playing like actively at the moment. But I'm, I'm just, I don't want to lose too much money in, in kind of no time, um, because I feel like this would be a bad idea, and we want to continue in this franchise mode. On the other hand, side, I'm not even. I'm not even too worried if we lose this franchise at this point because we have that many conservation credits um, and you still keep the animals in the trade center so you know if we would need to start over as soon as another update hits I'm totally fine with that like I, I don't really have that big of an issue with it but still I just you know if I lose because of my own stupidity that is fine if I do lose because 
the game has some bugs. You know, I'm, I'm I'm still in love with the game. I really do love the game, but it's like it really is keeping me worried if every update just brings in ever so many new mistakes or little bugs and uh, things that are you know they they ain't broke in in the first place oh, wait why okay i cannot go higher than 53 what okay whatever let's keep it oh okay maybe well let's put it on seven then I don't know which kind of one was. You know, I don't want to even sound too too negative about it. I'm just hoping that Frontier, because I also feel a little bit bad for them, because I clearly they don't do this um, on purpose. Like, who would I to say that they do this on purpose? That would be uh, ridiculous. Like, they are trying their best and they're pushing out all the updates like crazy. But still, um, yeah. If all these updates um, keep bringing in new issues, they definitely have no chill time at work, so... Ah, yeah, you know, it's just a pity because I would love to just keep on playing and do the panda habitat today. Maybe we even try to do the pan. You know what we try to do now? We try to get the pandas. Did I actually, um, oh, wait a second. Did I synchronize the prices? Because otherwise that would have been stupid to not do this. Let, let me see. Uh, synchronize all shops. So I can just do that over here. And from this one, because I'm too lazy to do it in every of those those shops, so let's just do it that way. I really hope that the the ing the raise of prices was not too heavy, but maybe maybe it's gonna be helpful. Now, one thing I also wanted to oops, where is that one? Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about as well is maybe where we could put some more uh, facilities, like the, kind of this food court over here. I'm actually willing to just copy that one over for a short. A uh, moment of time, but the thing is like we have food over here. We have food over here So these are the two most busy places I wonder if we need to put it down here as well to make also people go here By the way one thing we are still not gaining any money because we could not play they changed they said at least that they changed the likeliness of uh, functioning boxes on uh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, well, I was hoping they did fix that, but uh, it seems they this doesn't. Well, it may, might be fixed, but my area here seems to be still not working properly. Anyways, are my animals in the water? Yes, we need to just quickly... Wait, no, what did I just do? What did I just do? Oh, God, let's... Boom, and move it there. And I want to move you here as well. Now, let's see if that works. Blop, blop. Let's just throw them over here. Awesome. Now we should be able to get rid of the water quickly. Yes. All right. We. But what is that obstruct? Oh, by the baby over here. Okay. Let's. Let's do. Well, let's move the baby. We'll click, and we're gonna put it here. Come on. Fly over. Thanks you. Thank you very much. Indeed. Now, where's the other one? So there is another one. I think that's it, right? Let me just quickly check. Um, what is going on with you? Go here, please. 1.7 years old. It's the small one. Is it a small one? It is a small one. Okay, cool. So this has been done. And now we should be able to kind of change this a little bit. So let's let's kind of do this. Okay, let's get rid of the... I can still not put the water in again? Like, why? What is obstructing the water? I wonder. The animals... Maybe not. Valid. Valid. It's still not as high as it was, right? Yeah, it's not. So I, I want. Oh no, I, I know what. Okay, we can, we can just, we can just do this. Um, it is about. It's just about the, the height, of uh, the glass. We will do this in, a, in a bit. Okay, so, let's change, this over here. I'm, I'm just willing, to have this flat over here okay and you know what i'm just also doing it a bit wider if possible like far maybe maybe even six okay so what i'm doing i'm just building that over here and now before i do like before i do the connection i'm going to put down the freaking uh boxes because that should at least do the job i i, I do not think uh, oh, actually, I, I do think that should work. So, where are these donation? Where are the donation? There we go. Wonderful. One, two. I'm just throwing them in here now. Two, three, four. Awesome. 
And now, <laughs> just connect. Uh, they, they might be, f well, they might be floating quite a bit, but I I think I'm not even... Okay, you know what? The one thing I do try is to move it. Uh, see, it doesn't work. So I don't care at that point, to be honest. I don't care. The only thing I do care about is can we just move it a bit further and what's to here? Okay, that's it, because now... As we as we connect it here, they are not floating as heavy. I mean, you can still put something below that one, but at this point, again, as I said, I don't really care that much. The people, is it starting to rain? It is apparently, but anyways. Um, what is the issue here? Low welfare. See, are they starving as well? Uh, space critical overcrowding. Ah, well, because obviously there's no water that, yeah, 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 whatever. Um, you will get that in a bit. Sorry, 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 sorry. This was my mistake. So, what we, oh god, hopefully I didn't screw it up entirely. Like, what I need to do. Okay, we have to see. Three, 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 four. Three, three, four. Let's just take this one. This is three, three, four. We should measure this with three, three, four. Now let's raise this, like so. Three, three, four. Guys, please keep that in mind. Three, three, four is important for me. And gonna do the same over here. Three, three, four. And ah, uh, three, three, one is fine, I guess. Three, three, four, three, three, one. Ah, uh, whatever. So that should do the job. Now, if I didn't calculate completely wrong, here we go. Awesome indeed. Now let's edit the barrier again, and we're going to use that and go back to three, three, four. I get. Wait, what is that even? Ah, uh, well, it doesn't really matter too much because now we are one meter. That is fine. Just select exactly the same. I know um, some of you guys also told and said totally correctly that, wait, where is that issue? What is the issue here? Uh, come on, are you kidding? Now the other side just worked and this side just does not work. Okay, now it does work. Whatever, if that's the thing, gonna change it this way. I'm fine with that, you know, here we go. Awesome, no one cares. Okay, cool, so uh, apparently, I do care, because that still looks weird. And here you go, we can just do it ever so slightly. And yes, you guys uh, said totally right that this might be, you know, a bit too tight onto the water, like too close to the water, but I think it just looks good. And uh, honestly, since the, the crocodiles are not escaping, I think that should be fine. It's quite dangerous, yes, I agree, but ah well. So, okay, if I hit play again, at least our animals, we can just unbox them all now. Um, they should be fine. They should have no issues at all. Okay, that's great. Now this has been done. We changed the prices. Now we can actually look at our money if we changed anything about this. Because uh, first of all, let's say hi to the people. Say hello. Say hello. Did they actually change the texture on that button? Did they? Uh-huh. Well, interesting, I guess. Uh, so we're still losing money. And let's have a look why we do so. Like... Our income seems to be pretty much increasing all the way, but as you can see, we are already so much higher on the ongoing expenses, which is, well, mainly, I just don't, like, stuff wages is higher, yes, animal food, yes, I guess, but, like, I think it's the refunds that are getting, getting, going to miss, or kind of, kind of making the stuff, <sighs> hmm. I don't really know, like, are we making money again? Now, it should work. We should just have a little look into that. Um, like, we are... You know what we do? We're just increasing speed here. I just want to see if we make money or not. Because at the moment, it seems almost like as if we are not losing money. Which is already good, but... Um, okay, it's about to have offspring. Now, are we hitting the 440? If we're hitting the 440, like, constantly, not just quickly... If we're hitting the 440, it shall be changed. But it seems like we are equal equaling on money. It almost seems like. Facility broke down, okay. Like, okay, see, there we go, boom. 30, down, we lost 10k all of a sudden. What just happened? Is this only the animal food? Like, we're cramping our way up again, but it's, it's not working, right? It's not working. Our guests are getting more happy and happy. But we are still losing money, okay. So, okay, let me get this straight. Loan. We don't have any loan running. Uh, it's about to inbreed. No, don't just don't do, do inbreeding, please. Oh god, we have to like, yeah, we have to look a bit better into inbreeding. I don't care about an ATM. Research complete. Okay. 
Ah, so anyways, okay, that's been done. Okay, we are not losing dramatically money. I think if, if the game would run normally or just fine, I guess we would make so much money at this point. Uh, but apparently we don't because whatever. I, you know, I, can't, I, can't, I cannot see too much of a difference here. We are in December. Okay, actually we have to see the new year, obviously, because I was already in May when the update hit. But like, taxes seems to be about pretty much the same. Uh, scenery running costs, yeah, obviously I build a bit, okay. Facility running costs, nearly the same, I guess. Refunds, actually, well, I thought they would be higher, but it seems that refunds seem to be about the right same thing. Still, I'm a bit confused what the refunds do mean in this kind of things, but anyways. We had no fines, okay. Power costs, about the same. Habitat repair, uh, even less. Animal food, even less, I guess. Like, is this only staff wages? I mean, it cannot be that we are losing that much money only because of staff wages. So, what's the thing here? I really, I really just don't understand. I really don't understand, like, honestly. Average year, two years ago, last year, we made plus, plus, plus. I mean, we made a whole bunch of money. Um, ah, okay, so I think also because of the... Like, I don't want to... Let's see, just quickly, the animals. Ah, uh, what about our flamingos? God, look at that. I mean, we just should give the males um, quite a bit... Like, all the... All the... All our uh, males will get... Okay, here we go. They all will get uh, contraception. And, you know, all males get contraception. We do have enough flamingos. We don't need... We have so many young... Flamingos, and I'm just going to give this to all the males. Damn, that's good. Okay, so we have our lovely bears. Um, we have two bears, actually. The other ones are in the trade center. We can actually also, like the two in the trade center, we can just also release them to the wild. Or is this just to... Or did we get them already to, to make sure that we have a new... Um... No, so actually we don't need them, right? Frontier Zoo, Frontier Zoo, and these are... I totally forgot. Didn't we, did we buy them to... Did we buy them to just have this working? I'm a bit confused here. Like, they are way older, so why would I need to kind of have them? Like... Um... Hmm. I don't even know why we got them. Watkins and Emberlin. Um, grizzly bear. Like, we have two grizzly bears. She's about to have offspring. That is awesome. These are two frontier zoo ones, so they would, like, actually help to not be inbreeding. But since those two... You know what? I'm just going to release them to the wild. Uh. What the hell? Those two males I can release to the wild. Oh, whatever. Let's do this. But I... Okay. So, okay. I cannot get rid of them because uh, I've... Okay, that that's why. So, these two... I can... I cannot even move. Like, okay. Do I have to end the trade center? Um... Watkins. I can only quick trade. Okay, now as we do need the money anyways. Confirm. And the other one. Um, why did I get them? I don't even know why. I have the feeling I... What is this kind of going to do after purchase? Yeah, I know, but... Oh, whatever. Quick trade. Confirm. Okay, so we still have some animals to be sold if we need. I was about to say, do we have like a female pangolin? That's what we... Uh, pangolin. I think um, I was still on the purge of that one. Um, female filter. Let's see if we can... Come on, do filtering. Okay, people... Oh my goodness me. Let's just... Oh yeah, we do have. Okay, let's see. No good values at all. Oh, well, let's adopt this one first. Okay. Is there another one? Please be better. Oh god, no. Absolutely freaking no. And the one thing though is that there are a lot of animals now in the Frontier Zoo. What's going on? What is going on? Actually, zebras! Are you kidding me? They're barely in there anyway, so... Fertility? That's great. Let's adopt that one. It's not as expensive. You know, I'm throwing out the money, I know, but, well... Um, Ringtail Lemur, Komodo Dragon... Next. Let's see what else is in here. Look at all the animals! Okay, well, empty. Okay, that's enough. Um, I mean... Okay, so we have to see... Yeah, I we did fix that, okay. 
we did fix that. Okay, so what we try now, as we as we still, I, th I think it's not too bad about my way. So we, what we can do, what we definitely can do now, I want to make the panda habitat, and I want to build this over here. Now we have five thousand of the conservation credits, and we are doing good. We are breeding. We have the, the tig two tigers that are going to be about mature. Um, and I think the other tigers, they are still good enough to get two other babies, maybe, or maybe one. I don't even know how much time, but time will tell. They're not as old. Like, Deja is 13 point... Could you just get... Oh, well, Deja is definitely... Well, um, she is definitely not able to get another baby. So maybe we have to keep Ishwani. Well, Ishwani we cannot keep because she has fertility of 0%, which is um, quite unfortunate, I guess. Hello, I don't want to, I just want to select the, the animal, please. And we have Vashnavi, uh, Vashnavi, which is great. So we definitely keep up her. What about this dude? Can I even select this dude? Uh, whatever. And this is, oh, this is red. Okay, we still have red. But red is the dad of Ishwani, is that correct? Of these two or not I'm a bit confused though are you papa from you I guess you must be because else you're not in here right how did we just put in red last time oh uh, wait there we go what is that current maid is Dia Dija okay but wait a second why is that showing to me adult it, it should definitely be elderly shouldn't it like timelet, adulthood, head offspring, death. Is she not even going to be elderly because the, the genetics are so bad? Oh, okay, that might be it. That might be it though. Okay, that means after those two, we definitely need another male one. And we have to get rid of red, unfortunately, I guess. Because all we just don't care about inbreeding at this point. Species toy enrichment is not perfect. Let's, let's just change that. Um, and I, I'm sorry that I do have the game on, on pause the whole time, but, uh, you know why. I mean, Bengal Tiger, here we go, and Enrichment, and, uh, Toys, and you go and get that one, and you get a oh, scratching pose. Yeah, I want to see you scratching all the way here. So, I'm gonna do this scratchy, scratchy, where do you go and do, can you I put the scratchy, scratchy pose on top here, so you need to go? Oh, that is awesome. Let's see if they do that. That would be that would be cool to see. Okay, cool. Now that's done. Okay, plop plop plop. Why have you been boxed now? Because I I changed ever so less in your habitat, and you need to do that. Is that thing true? Okay. So we have some macaque babies. That is awesome. Baby. Yay! Oh, hello. Oh, you are so lovely. You are so lovely. Inspector is about to visit the zoo. Okay. Hello, you are also lovely. Oh my god, you are so cute. Yes, start playing. Okay, the indicator does show me I'm still losing money. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, is there any... Okay. Ah, oh, whatever. You can do whatever you want. I just want to see if you guys are going to go up here so money money as i said seems not to be that big of an issue so how long am i recording already 23 minutes okay there's enough time to at least get the panda um animal trading and uh, you know what i'm just quickly taking a break and i'm trying to get the pandas and then i'll, I'll keep continuing to play because that's a bit boring for you all right i do i do start the oh my god i do start the recording again here Okay, so the prices on the market are completely ridiculous. Like, seriously, they are... Oh my god. Okay, so what we do, we did, we did get a mail for like 1.8 thousand, which has actually pretty decent values, I must say. So, uh, there you go. This is our, our friend uh, Yong Yan, or Yong Yan. The only thing I was a bit fearing is if it is potentially, I don't know, but if it is potentially too old. But longevity was okay, so maybe it's good enough to at least get one's babies. That's what we need. So, we, we are not going to put it in the habitat at this point because I really do want to make sure uh, that we do get a female first. Now it is a bit of an issue because we still need to get the animal into the habitat at least 
for a split second uh, so I get the values of them. Now, what I want to do, I want to create the habitat over here pretty simply. Again, like a little bit of a lower down one. I'm not going to make something uh, too fancy right now because I just want to take part somehow in the activity and then we might just look into changing the habitat in the end a bit more um, according to what we need. So again, I just, I just want to make sure. They also get like a panda slide. At least I want to try to build one where they can just climb on something and just, uh, you know, um, slide down there into into a little bit of a nice area. I don't even know. Do they need water? Do they actually even like water? I feel like they don't like water. Uh, why would they? But I mean, I I've, I saw them um, doing some stuff about water, anyways. But yeah. Well, um, the one thing I want to do is I want to keep this fairly easy, as I said. So uh, we do not have a backstage access over here as well. That's what I want to keep um, someone in mind as well, because. You know, there is like this backstage access over here and there is this area over here. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this habitat also gets a proper backstage area. And that will be over here. So that's why I'm going to put the door um, just over here. Like we, if it's about to turn blue eventually. Okay, now um, the one thing we need to do is kind of create um, some kind of border to increase the length a little bit so we go all the way over here awesome i'm gonna do yeah sure what the hell no i just want to start building from over here right and give me the wooden fence please and i'm going to just go oh well we need to go a bit longer there we go i'm not even sure the rest will be done hopefully by uh the wonderful rocks as always we need the, we need the rocks <laughs> always utilize the rocks in the best way possible now let's just go around here just like we don't need to make it as exactly perfectly fine as uh, it could be like that's the it's just already like a habitat all right that is already a habitat how good is that so yeah we're going to make like a little bit of a of a ramp down here maybe this is already going to be like the slide area why not let's just do this and i'm going to borrow a little trick that i uh that i had like it was kind of a a nice thing i also tried already in this zoo but uh, apparently the one who 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 made this or like used it the best way now is definitely mr uh, mike sheets again i i know i keep mentioning him quite often recently but that is for good reason because this dude is just creating some some seriously great stuff so yeah eventually i need to pull this okay can i just you know what we do i just make my life a bit easier here by using, as always, the terrain stamp tool. <laughs> this is, I, I don't know why, wait, why is this talking about making life easier? That is so weird. Like, why am I not able to connect this? Is that because of the fence? Because of the, uh, is this because of like the gate? If it's only about the gate, we just get rid of the gate real quick. I mean, that yeah, it's only because of the gate. Okay, we're gonna be putting in the gate later again. God, okay, I don't care. So let's just do a wider thing here, just a bit more down, we go down with the trumpets, okay, so now let's bring this all down into the middle of the habitat, okay, that is about right here, cool, now what we need to do, I'm gonna put down the, here we go, the gravel path, and this time it's not even, it's not even uh, a bad thing if the path is not perfectly flat, it can even be a bit, a bit wobbly or whatever, so that's totally fine. Here we go, awesome. Yeah, as I said, this can be this can be a little bit like that. I just don't care too much. Now let's edit the habitat again and put that door back in. Why? Well, I just want to make sure that the door goes into. I cannot believe what is happening. So apparently, I can. Can I just? I just. <sighs> okay. So. Am I not able to just put a door in? I cannot do this. That is interesting enough. I, I think it is because we are using the wrong mode here. We're going to use the right mode. Ah, oh God, guys, it is eh, incredible. Now let's just do this a bit differently than I was hoping to do it. Okay, I think they can climb, right? I need to find a way of not doing it. Anyways, 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 we, we kind of need to succeed in that. So let's just 
yeah, put this door here now. Okay, that is fine. Now, again, I don't know if they can climb up there. I'm not an expert, and I just know I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, okay, but the one thing I do know is that I do want to make this little construction first of all, and then uh, we are going to we are going to just um, put the animals in to see what is working and what not. So here we go. That is what I need. Now, can I just somehow make this aligned? Yes, I can. So let's just, as I said, this will be like a little bit of a kind of slide thing and what a slide needs is always like uh, something to the left and to the right uh kind of a boundary thing so is that the right angle we are at just test this so if we go all the way down all right that's fine okay that is pretty much fine let's just put them all down i cannot change the color can i no i cannot that is a little bit unfortunate but i i mean that's that's okay that's okay we can deal with that so just bring that all the way down here and honestly what we could do though is we could try to just create oh well I should have done this here here and now perfectly fine we shall create that circle and connect it to the circle I'm gonna do it that way okay now let's multi select those pieces uh, one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, one hundred, blah, 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 what, <laughs> whatever. Oh, God. Oh, just Okay, let's move it a bit over here. And let's just copy that whole thing over to the other side. So it is just meandering in here. Awesome. Now, that is kind of the panda slide we're going to use here. Now, there is this one thing you can do, and that is pretty cool. We have a lot of these water effects, right? So, we can use the... Like, there are some of the coolest effects you can use, but this one over here in particular is not the one you would love to use. But the one you want to use is... I just need to, to find that one effect, um, which is... This one is cool, but there is a smaller version of that available. Where is that one? I'm still use. I'm still searching. Here we go. This is one of the best ones uh, because it creates this wonderful water effect. Um, I'm just searching for the for the smallest version. This is the fountain. Uh, was it that one? Yeah, I guess it was this one. So is there another one like with a different? Or was it? I think this one works fine as well. You will get the idea in a bit, guys. You will get it, Mike. This is pretty simple. Now, if you just put it below ground, unfortunately, it just doesn't create the same effect. But if you just move it a little bit higher, you can see how this turns out to be looking. So, the one thing... I need to hit the pause button again. The one thing that is very important now is that you use um, the angle snap as all, at all times uh, to make sure that it really has the same angle. And then just quickly unpause the game so what the one thing that is important is that you do move it slightly, you, you know, just ever so slightly. That just do not always create the the same thing at the very same position. Um, and yeah, well, I just did it exactly wrong. <laughs> uh, snap. Okay, you can just put them down like so. You know, you can just just slap them to the ground, whatever. I'm gonna mix in something else as well, so don't worry about that. So now you just hit play. And the water effect is going to be appearing, right? So you have the water. Now, obviously, this looks a bit weird because um, it kind of always has these little things in here that create the water um, ripple. I think it's the word you want to use. So there is a uh, river ra rapids effect. Here we go. This is the rapids effect. And that's the one that gives you the flow. Like, this one can be utilized, as you can see, to create a bit of a water flow down here. Again... I would definitely like use it always to um, kind of create like you, you want to get in like with over here and just don't overdo it just don't overkill it just put it in these little corners where you think it works the best now yeah sometimes you need to adjust the adjust this, uh, the, the direction here we go. Okay, this is created. Now, what you can do now, and unfortunately you have to do it, because otherwise that looks stupid, you have to go in and search for some very small rocks. Um, like, you could use this kind of stuff if you want. So you can just always go in and just create, um, yeah, some, some kind of a little natural border where the ripple would be realistically created. You can also always use uh, the, the pieces like so. 
and then just kind of uh, go in and just stick them in like this. Um, you, I think you get the idea. It's just very important that you you just hide those. And either way, you just hide them completely, or you just put them in to to create some kind of uh, realistically looking, um, you know, area where the water would create these kind of ripples, anyways. Because else, that would be um, looking a bit odd. So yeah, you just try to find the right pieces that provide the right uh, stuff to you. And then eventually it will become looking like that. So it's it's not great, but it's at least a little bit believable. The only thing I wonder is, I didn't know that the foam, it seems the foam, I wondered if, but the foam seems to be always like straight. So maybe you cannot use the foam anyways. Maybe just, okay, you can use it down there, that's fine. Um, ah well. I mean, it's okay. You you still get the water effect. That is fine, and it, it gives you this idea of of the water. But it's I you know I agree if you guys say it's not perfect because it's it's definitely not. But yeah, so that's that's what I wanted to create. Now again, as I said, I want to create a little bit of backstage area here. So let me just quickly do this and put the panda in. Uh, that is what we do, and then we end this episode here so we can actually make the panda habitat in the next episode so we're going to just connect this go to our trade center uh maybe maybe now we get the animals from the market so let's see there is a female in here okay we get this because it's so cheap at the moment let's quickly do it i mean a 33 oh my god it failed okay what about this one fatality not great for that much money Ah, uh, come on Fat oh god it's too old let's see if there's anyone anyone else in here Oh god, still the same. God, they are so expensive. Look at 3,000 and pregnant? Ah, no, okay. Interesting. Interesting. 10 years. But look at the prices, guys. I'm, I'm not willing to spend that much money. This is insane. That is insane. The longevity on that one. I'm not going to do that. Like, not at all. Uh, first of all, we need to just filter it by a female only. Eee, do it. God, look at the prices. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. Anyways, we're going to put in Yong Yan. Hello, Yong Yan. Move Yong Yan into its habitat. And let's just wait quickly for our little guy to deliver Yong Yan. We just uh, speed up the game. Um, let me see. There should be a caretaker on its way to bring Yong Yan, Yong Yan in uh, the habitat. Where is this dude? Come on, do it. There we go. Yong Yan is about to be running in here, throwing in Yong Yan into this exhibit. Now, plop. There we go with Yong Yan, and <laughs> maybe, maybe I should just say once more, Yong Yan. And <laughs> Yong Yan. Um, good, 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 good. Let's see. Traversable area. That's about right to me. It can go a little bit through the water. That is fine. And it can escape in the back here. Okay, I'm fine with that. I mean, obviously it can escape over here. We're gonna get rid of this by, by some rocks, as always. Rocks are important. We're gonna create like a little bit of a rock face over here. Um, and yeah, I think this is this is the easiest thing. Just to, yeah, you know, we just... Do it that way. You can just create a bit of a. I mean, it makes no sense to. Ah, oh, well, it does make sense somehow. Like, we, we could just smooth the whole thing out a bit more and then we just create that kind of thing. So it will not be able to just break out over here as well. And we just do again, we do some rock work over here and then that should look at least somewhat more nice looking. Um, so, yeah, Young Yan seems to be. You know, chilling in its habitat quite a bit. And uh, now let's have a look. Still, it will be able to break out here. So rocks must do the, the magic, I guess. Okay, so, but it's good to know. Um, so, are you kidding me? But they still can get babies, right? Oh my god, that will have to be very quick indeed. 
now <laughs> they really have they really have to be very quick indeed maybe maybe i'm just getting another mail then uh that also makes sure that it works oh god i should have i should have watched that now anyways is there a, let's refresh the list seven minutes uh is that like oh god look also like the age like look at the age it is all not doable like look at the prices Okay, well, let's get back to, to mail then. Filter, come on, do it. God, like eight years, fertility zero, great. Um, Eight years, fertility 33, great. Okay, guys, I think it's gonna be a very, very hard task to, to do this, uh, which we'll take care of in the next episode. One thing I will do in between though is I will definitely take care of getting maybe already the panda and, and make this habitat at least somewhat ready. Uh, so we don't need to tangle with that, but yeah, we are losing out on money. So hopefully next week the update will be quickly I I might just consider recording once or two episodes two more I guess But uh, then I might just wait for the next update because like it's not fun to lose all what you have worked for uh, that hard uh, In in just a bit of time, you know, we lo lost like yeah since I began today we basically lost about I don't know 70k I guess so yeah uh, it's not fun and the zoo is running pretty well so that's even more of a, a kind of frustrating thing but yeah i'm also i'm also thinking about maybe making one uh, speed build episode where i'm going to fix some major issues about the zoo because we do have some major issues which i'm going to tackle then in a speed uh, build i guess because i don't want to bother you with this in the full time uh, stuff but anyways so guys uh, i hope you enjoyed today's a uh, little bit different episode but i really do hope you did enjoy it now well yeah I hope you go I'm going to see you in, in the next episode as well. Until then, have a great time as always and see you then. Bye, guys. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels. You can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew. Uh, you can see it on the left-hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw whatever you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button, which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye, guys.